I'm good. I looked over and now I'm watching other people get on there and I'm looking at their faces and so far so good. Nothing's made me, you know, feel like turning back. I just thought, you know what, this is a great way to give back. I've always wanted to give back more. I just thought I would do it. And I'm not an extreme sport person, but I just thought, oh, why not? Are you afraid to go? I, I gotta admit, I was saying no. But when I got up here, I noticed my legs, they just feel a lot weaker than they did down on the ground floor. <laughs> I had the cameraman right next to me, so I had to kind of go along. It was amazing. I tried to look around and take in the sights, and it was good. Then once I started going, I just, it was awesome. I mean, I loved, I would have twirled around a couple more times. <laughs> I learned that they were doing this fundraiser. I had a lot of people that I wanted to repel for. So I was diagnosed with cancer, with breast cancer in 2013. My doctor actually recommended that I just kind of go check it out. Just said to try different things, try the massage therapy, try Reiki, go to counseling and come to the support groups. And I did and that really helped me to get to know that I'm not the only one going through this. I'm actually here because my mom actually passed away when I was a freshman in high school. She had breast cancer. Any type of organization that helps any type of cancer patient, I'm all for. Of course it's a great cause and that's the reason I'm doing this. You know, I started at the Victory Center a little over a year ago and started volunteering and really thought I just wanted to give back to cancer patients. Everything that they do from exercise to support groups to short-term counseling, it makes life so much easier for those cancer patients. Across your life, you will find someone who has cancer and someone who can use the Victory Center. Being here to support an organization that does such good for the community uh, is an awesome experience. It's an amazing place for everybody who walks through these doors. You won't find people who are more loving and caring and devoted. It's an amazing place for hope, and I feel very grateful and honored to be part of it. <laughs>